Right. It's on. <laughs> Hello. We shall explain the previous video. What is Project Zero? Go! <laughs> um, well, Project Zero is created by the Figaro Bros, who are behind uh, some very good mazes like Platform 15 and the Big Top. Um, they're creating a new legacy, um, which is Extreme Escapes, uh, which is basically a series of escape rooms, um, which are quite up and coming, really. They really hit up in the past few years. Bedlam Escape the Asylum yeah. uh, and also the Corpse with Killers, uh, which I, I love horror, so it should Basically, be really good. I'm gonna cut in here for anyone who is like, oh, what? I don't understand. So basically, um, like the big top and platform 15, 14? 15. 15. 15 are um, mazes at Thorpe Park during Fright Nights. The Figaro Bros are the people who um, created those and Project Zero is their escape rooms, in simple terms. Yes. Yes. I found Project Zero through a YouTube video. So did you, didn't you? Yeah, I, I found it through a YouTube video as well. Um, and I was just like, oh, this could be interesting. It kind of got started from there. There was a video uploaded to a YouTube channel. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The video was uploaded onto the Project Zero YouTube channel, which we, well, which I then looked into, went through the comments, and then found out there was a Facebook person called Fubar Riggs. RIP. Legend. RIP. But the reason that got found was because it's a anagram? Is that the right word? It's an anagram. It's an anagram of the Figaro Bros. Wow, so cool. We looked into that and then I'll link the video down below. Um, but there's like all sorts that were going on, like that, it, just a lot happened, wasn't there? Yeah. So I went to Fubar and through Fubar Rigs found you on yeah. Facebook, and you were like the all knowing at that time. <laughs> and we no, were, and not then, at all. <laughs> so there's another guy called Dan who had a puncture and couldn't uh, come in today because his car broke down. Hey! Um, but we are the top three out of. The ten who won. Yeah, I found you on Facebook and then yeah. was like, "Hey, I need help. <laughs> Please help." Do you want to explain? Like, there was like how many stages? Three. There was three stages. Yeah. Go through stage was, one. Go so uh, there was a lot of things. It was mainly with like the uh, first video, and uh, there was a lot of little subtle clues and hints uh, to little things. And it led me, all of this just led me to this place. There were some coordinates in the uh, video. And it led me to Bethlehem Museum of the Mind. And it's a great place, by the way. Uh, really weird as well, quite quirky and cool. Um, but it led me to this uh, visitor book, which had a date. And then uh, this uh, visitor, uh, like the admissions booklet for the, um, the actual uh, museum. And there was a girl, um, uh, and her name was Sarah Ellen Pickett and that was what got you into stage one and yeah. logged you into this um, Project Zero user thing. Yeah. yeah, in the video there's like a... Can you turn your phone on yeah. silent please? <laughs> wow. Why is the wind picked up? I don't know. Right, we'll just continue. If it, if it sounds bad then it sounds bad. So in the video there's an orange book which is the visitors. That's the right? visitors book. Yeah. In that, as you'll see on screen now, these finger is currently pointed to a zero with a question mark. What was underneath that? Uh, I, it was a I date. Um, it was actually the date that she was admitted into the um, the actual Mental asylum. asylum. Yeah. yeah. So from that, you went to the book, the other book. Yeah. And found her name. So that's how we found Sarah. Love her. Yeah. Um, and then that got us through to stage two, which when we logged on, there was a load of beefing. Um, that beeping, I soon found out. Like that was quite quick for me, to be fair. I was, I was quite <laughs> slow at this. Um, it was Morse code, and because I'm an ex scout, I worked it out quite quickly. See, so I didn't. Did I, you not? I had a lot of struggle with it. Did so you? there was, um, I had to slow it down using Snapchat uh, <laughs> and uh, slowed it down. I love that. And then I was just hearing this really weird because everything was numbers, and then that last. Yeah. 
last goal. With a Z? They come up with a Z? No, no, I, I had the understand. same as well. At all. I had the same. Um, so, I'll put, I think I've got it in my editing software because that's how I figured it out. Oh, I right. screen recorded it. Um, with sound and then logged on and then when the beep had started I slowed yeah. it down. See so I wasn't as professional as that. <laughs> I'll edit it into this. Um, so once it was a full number, once we got that you would ring it and then there was a spooky ass voice oh, that answered the phone and it was quite like muffled and just how would you describe it was it? so hard to understand so hard You were there and it was like saying saying something and you could understand the first bit. Yeah. And then after that it would just become so I literally oh, just got don't. it took me so long. Uh, I was like upside down, that's all I can hear. <laughs> um, what was the actual message? This will bring you closer to finding her. Broadwood's folly, beyond the last ditch, follow the path behind the man who for eternity sleeps upside down, yeah. then to the left, then to the right. Sorry, but yeah, yeah, the other way. Uh, behind the veil is where she's been left. So yeah. I'll put pi I'll put pictures in behind my uh, behind my speaking. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, I'll put pictures in. Basically, there was a man upside down, like a stick man upside down on the wall with a date on. Was yes. There. Yeah. Uh, no, it was a um, it was a number. So it was the man. It was like a stick picture of a man upside down in chalk, and then four seven four nine. Again, I didn't go to this location because travel is a struggle for me. <laughs> so he went and yeah. so did Dan and they communicated back to me because they're nice. <laughs> I had a lovely brother who was willing to take me to all these places. Uh, but yeah, there was also this man who like in the 1800s was buried upside down. And that's, it was quite cool actually looking at it. <laughs> um, but behind like this tree, was like a little number uh, put on with some bark, uh, put onto the bark. It was 180724. And that was the date? No. And no, yeah, that was a date, but it was also to the key for the yeah. um, the screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So when the Morse in. code came up, there was another screen where it was like key and then message. Okay. It's all a blur now, really. All, all of this, we had help with Foobar. Rest in peace, Foobar, because the Facebook account got deleted. <laughs> um, <laughs> he got, he got resusc resuscitated quite recently did, and, then, yeah, uh, and then it went passed again. Mm. Bless him. Um, <laughs> we said bless him, but it's Ollie who, who's on our group chat who's in charge of that account. We're friends with the people who, well, one of the people who are part of the Fiddle with Bros on Facebook who we've now got in group chat. Yeah. Sick. Um, anyway, back to stage two. So we'd put this number in the key and then. I literally cannot remember. What was the message? So it was in the video. It was this uh, picture of a, uh, a man but with a ripped up photo. And then on the side there was some text uh, that was given. And once you put the text into the, um, oh, the message, yes. and then you had the key which was found on the tree, you were able to get Annie Sandbrook from that. Yeah. Yeah. I also, we missed out in the first section. <laughs> Are you feeling for the rain? It just rained on me a bit. It yeah. On my leg. yeah. Um, oh. In the first section, we used a website called Mobile Fish. Oh yeah. Which we then had. It is raining. Yep, that's. We love filming outside. That's um, what? Um. So yeah, we used Mobile Fish, and then there was like a book of Greek stuff. Uh, yes, Degan. Yeah. And then we use that to translate some of the binary code or some sort of. It oh, was, it was the pictures. It was the picture. It was pictures on like GitHub. GitHub. That GitHub. was on Fubar's Facebook page as a link, and we'd put them through there. And we were stage two. Yay! Stage two. Um, we then put the key in and the message, yeah. which led to Annie. Annie Sandbrook. Uh, yeah. And then 
you would keep put you explain this because I really can't remember. So on like the same website that you typed in Sarah Ellen Pickett 1083 you'd also type in Annie Sandbrook yeah. and it would come up to like a different page altogether. Yeah. Um, and it led you to this like video with a countdown at the top. I've, uh, I've still got that page up on my map. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a weird video though. That one, so, so stage three we hardly had any help with. It was the worst, it was so difficult. And the thing is, I was in Spain as well at the time, <laughs> so I couldn't really do a lot, and it was really, I was really struggling with it. And, uh, I wasn't willing to help no. at all. Um, you didn't let like, get, like, it was like the final second. Yeah. So I think it was like, yeah, let's do this. I, I think I, because I was looking at the video, and I saw the text come up, and it was just like jumbled up letters, I yeah. thought. And I was trying to like unscramble all of the words and hopefully make a sentence, but uh, that didn't work. And then when I was on the plane, I messaged through about like, oh, can I have that picture again? And it was like, oh, don't tell anyone I did this. Sent the picture up, but it was meaningless. It didn't mean anything. <laughs> and he just gave it to me, and I was like, oh, thanks. But I thought it nothing. was a poem. Uh, yeah, it is a poem. It is. Yeah, it? it's a poem called The Gay Lady. Yeah. Uh, which is quite cool. Yeah, I can't, I literally can't remember stage three because I was doing it whilst at work as well, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, because you sent me like a, <laughs> this, like loads of writing, yeah. like a receipt, and I was just... Oh yeah, back of a receipt, of, like receipt paper. I was, I was trying to work it out whilst at work. Uh, but yeah, it was like so the YouTube video. If you looked in the comments, you'd see something from Project Zero, and uh, you clicked on that link, and it came up with more of the um, ciphering that was used in Kitu. Is that there? Yeah, that's yeah. the one. I'll put a picture up. <laughs> and yeah, so you decoded that, and then every single number that you had used before, you put back into the key that you yes. found from the previous stage, and it would give you like this website link and that website link would be the answer. Yeah, but that that has now been de deactivated. Yeah, the, the website's been deactivated All now. of the websites have just been like axed down. So there, you were first, Yeah. Dan was second, Yeah. I was third. Yeah. Don't know the order of the rest of them. So yeah, that, that explains. And that video, that I, that my last video, was a reaction to the video that explained what the whole of Project Zero was. Are you okay? <laughs> Carry us like this. <laughs> oh. The sun's coming out-ish. Hey, we love that. Um, so yeah, that's Project Zero. If you'd like to go to the escape rooms, uh, I'll link the website down below. We we won uh, like to go to the escape yes. rooms, didn't we? Yeah, so I'm I looking forward to, to that. I spoke to Ollie, don't know if I've told you this. Right. Um, and I was like, do we just pick one? And because, so our group chat is Fubar's Angels. That, like, because there's two separate groups on Facebook. There's the winners group, that's literally just called winners. And then there's Fubar Angel, Fubar's Angels, which is us three yeah. and Ollie. And the deceased Fubar. Yeah, deceased Fubar. I asked him if we were going to do one, and he was like, well, we're going to have to do something special for the angels. So I think we might do that's two. Him. I don't know. Ollie, if you're watching this, help us out. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was, I feel like I look amazing. It's fine, doesn't matter. It's my brand. So yeah, that was basically explaining my last video. If you wanna find out more, website's linked below, Project Zero YouTube channel be linked below. Um, and I've been given permission to film the escape rooms as well. So <laughs> you didn't know that, did no, you? No, I didn't. <laughs> look forward to that. Right, thank you for watching this YouTube video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Um, leave a comment what you think about Project Zero and if you think that we're really good detectives. Um, we are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see you sometime soon. We're at Summer in the City. Show Axel, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll probably be vlogging Summer in the City, although like, we're being very out of the Is that focus? Yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Right, we're going to finish this off quick. Bye. We're at Summer in the City. I'll film some behind the scenes. It's raining. We've got to go. See you later. Bye. <laughs>